Hey y'all, I know I look a hot mess. I'm trying to part my hair on the other side today and it's uh, working against me. Anyways, I'm on the way out the door to grab Abel from daycare. Um, he's not feeling super great today, neither is the baby. So prayers are appreciated, but I got something in the mail and I feel like a little girl on Christmas morning. I got um, a package from one of my subscribers. She reached out to me and asked me for my address, and I feel like stupid happy right now. I have no idea what's in it. It could be a box of rocks for all I know, but I'm going to open it on the video today and share that with you guys. I am excited to say the absolute least. I think just because people believe in me. <laughs> I think just because um, knowing that I'm making at least a small difference in somebody else's life is I don't know. I think it's super, super amazing, and I'm so excited. I just want to share this with you guys. So I'm going to head and get Abel, and I will be back in oh, just a moment. See you soon. Hey, everybody. My name is Amanda. Welcome to the channel if you are new here, and welcome back, my faithful few, if you are returning. Tonight, we're wrapping up Vlogtober 2019, and I honestly am kind of sad that we are wrapping this up, but I've also got to be completely honest with you and tell you that as this month is coming to an end, it has stretched me and pressed me in places spiritually that I did not expect. When God asked me to make these videos for you every single day in the month of October, I was like, sure, God, no big deal, right? I'll just get a word from you and I'll share it and it'll just be what it is. Honestly, this really, really has pressed me, like I said, in ways that I didn't even know was possible. The outpouring of love and the comments and the emails and the prayer requests have just opened my eyes to an entire different view on this ministry. And this would not be if it wasn't for you. I have a couple of things I want to share in this video. We're going to be talking about becoming a Proverbs 31 woman. What does that look like in the 21st century? How do I become a Proverbs 31 woman? Am I already a Proverbs 31 woman? What do I have to be to become a Proverbs 31 woman? What does that even mean? And is that even really possible? Could I, little old Amanda from the good old Buckeye State, could I be a Proverbs 31 woman? Oh yeah, if you happen to notice, I am wearing dun, da, 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 my Staying Kingdom Minded merchandise. We ordered this hoodie and I'm super, super excited to be wearing it in this wrap up video. Tonight is the last night to enter the giveaway. And so go ahead and check out the link in the description box below and enter that. I'm going to jump right in and I also have a huge shout out and thank you to an amazing subscriber on this channel who really touched my heart. If you want to know about that, please stay to the very end. Okay, so there are so many attributes to the Proverbs 31 woman. And I thought many, many different times on how I wanted to break down what the Word of God says in regards to being this woman. And I decided that I would choose five different things to really talk about and if you're interested in hearing more about the Proverbs 31 woman, let me know and I will be sure to make another video on this topic. So I want us first to remember that the P word that we're talking about, ladies, is not perfect, but Proverbs. So this woman, she definitely is someone that you aspire to be. If you don't feel like you're already this woman, let me kind of show you how I'm sure that you are. So not one of us has every single attribute completely correct. We're all a work in progress. But this woman, you see, she lives with purpose and she is intentional in all of her ways. She puts her faith in God. If you put your faith in God, I would say that you have one of the wonderful characteristics of becoming and being that Proverbs 31 woman. In the 21st century, we find ourselves so scattered with things that the original, the matriarch, if you will, of the book of Proverbs did not have all of the distractions. But you know what? She respected her husband. She brings him good all the days of her life and not harm. What does that mean? If she brings him good, it means she's constantly building up. That she's pouring out prayers for him on his behalf. 
that she's his cheerleader and she believes in him. She's a hard worker and she helps to provide for her family. What does that mean? It means babysitting. It means sewing projects. It means selling things. It means baking. It means every single thing that we do as women on a daily basis that helps to provide even just that tiniest bit of supplemental either income or otherwise into our family to help build up. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction and she seeks to guide from the word of God. Do you do those things when someone comes to you with a need? Do you quote scripture? Do you join hands and pray for them? If so, you have an amazing characteristic because you comfort those in need. So before you, my friend, allow the enemy to whisper lies that says that you are definitely not a Proverbs 31 woman, that you don't quite make the cut, and that you never will be, grab a pen and paper, write down what the word of God says a Proverbs 31 woman is on one side of that paper, and then on the opposite side of the paper, write down the characteristics that you know that you possess. Are you kind? Are you faithful? Are you trustworthy? Do you love? Are you faithful to your family and your husband? If you find the answers to any of these questions are yes, then you, my dear sweet sister, are definitely a Proverbs 31 woman. Notice I didn't say that you are a perfect woman. I said that you are Proverbs 31 woman. You are in the process. Okay, so here is my huge shout out and thank you. I'm an amazing subscriber. Well, I have a couple thousand amazing subscribers on this channel. And one of you guys reached out to me on direct message on Instagram and asked me if you could send me a small token of your gratitude for me taking the time to make videos. To be honest, I was really completely caught off guard because no one's ever really wanted to send me mail before, but I love to receive mail and not that you need to send me a gift necessarily, that's not what I'm asking for, but if you would like to send mail, if you would like to send cards or letters or anything like that, I would absolutely love to receive them. I love snail mail. And to be honest with you, when this package arrived in the mail yesterday morning, I could not stop smiling. It was like somebody had sent me a million dollars. I was so extremely grateful and thankful. And I will not mention the person's name because I did not get their permission first. But I just want to say that you know who you are. And you, my friend, are a Proverbs 31 woman. And how do I know that? Because you exhibited kindness and thoughtfulness and you were caring, and I truly, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank you and tell you that I really appreciate what you sent me. And I wanna show it to you guys because it's super cute. I did the prayer journal video, and she obviously paid attention to that, and some things I talked about that I enjoy using, she sent me, which was some of this washi tape, which is super cute. It's repositional um, floral stickers. They are so, so cute. And I cannot wait to use those as well as another four pack of washi tape. And if that wasn't enough, she sent me two amazing journals and one came with stickers. I cannot wait to start using these, you guys. Honestly, I really appreciate you thinking of me in that way. And then one of the journals had a handwritten note um, a thank you note in it as well. So thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and I really truly appreciate it. So if you want to send mail, if you want to send letters, um, please message me. You can email me at amanda at stayingkingdominded.com and you could also send me a direct message on Instagram. We're stayingkingdominded over there as well or head over to stayingkingdominded.com and check out the website, enter the giveaway, and check out the merchandise while you're over there. I know you would love to be able to wear one of these hoodies as I'm wearing tonight. And yeah, I've gotta be completely honest with you and tell you that when I see our first sale happen on our website, I think I'm gonna do like some kind of crazy, crazy happy dance. So if you wanna see the crazy, crazy happy dance, head over and make us our first purchase on the website. And I promise I'll record the dance and I'll include it in a video.
Thank you so much for every single view, every thought, every comment, every prayer, and every expression of sincerity. I appreciate you and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.